Wow, look at this chestnut. It just exploded after being in here for 24 hours. And this is the one that was uh, in this jar with a bunch of other ones. It was like way at the bottom, but it slowly climbed its way out around the other seeds. Whew, I am running so far behind schedule. Uh, it is 12.30 in the afternoon. I woke up at 10. Hit the snooze button for a while and uh, didn't organize these last night as well as I should. So I am transferring stuff to New Jersey today. Um, I'm riding solo. There was a death in the family. So everyone's at a funeral. And uh, all of this, the car is half loaded already. I forgot to start the camera. Uh, but that's all loaded. And I just took the biggest, luscious plants. I doubt we'll plant every single one of these, but they're enough for our family, the neighbors next door, the Dukas, um, which are friends of the family, and aunts and uncles. If there's, you know, I expect at least 25% of this to be still sitting on the shelf. But loading up, driving out, dropping off, and then maybe I'll have some time to get some work done by myself. Well, that's, Overkill, but we got it. We got peach trees and chestnut trees, hazelnut trees. We got peppers, tomatoes. We got cucumber, squash, herbs, everything you need. Took forever, but finally here. Alright, already cleared off. So this is the table I made using the legs that I saved. My table. Just spread out some fabric cloth, which I'm probably going to staple down and just keep it on there. I know that seems weird, but um, with some of these coming through and some roots showing, I thought it would be best to just put the paper down the same way that the paper is down under these trays when they're sitting in the, uh, what do you call them, the water basins. Anyway, this is how things look the last week. If you notice, all the weeds are gone. I don't know if dad came through here and killed them off or if they just died off. They put some cardboard down. We're gonna get some more, I got some paper. And I'm just gonna leave all these seedlings out here to harden off direct sun this is where they're going it's cool today it's about 52 it says I think it's a tiny bit warmer tomorrow it's supposed to be five degrees warmer and then the day after that we hit 60s and then the whole week after that we're getting 65 and up all right now you can see everything I brought out today in my truck plus you know still got more stuff to put out Anyway, everybody thought I was playing with this garden. Oh my God, it's so big. <laughs> and I already kind of want to go bigger. <laughs> because, uh, yeah, as you can see, I'm ready to stunt on these hoes. But, uh, those hoes. Because, you know, we respect women in this farm. Pew, 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 pew. All right, I'm leaving this for the parents. Hopefully they will heed my instructions and try these and update us with some video. All right, I am headed across town really quick to get wood chips. Uh, and while I'm doing that, the yard maintenance guys just started today, their first day they're putting out black mulch and I forgot we needed black mulch to go around the garden decorative I'm gonna talk with the parents about them putting mulch down I don't know how much they'll charge versus uh, well it's got to be cheaper than going and buying bags or getting a drop of mulch 
We'll see. But uh, I'm going to get wood chips. So I do not have a trailer, so I have loaded up the trunk with empty garbage bins, and I'm just gonna try and fill them with wood chips by myself. I don't know if I'll be able to lift them up into the gate by myself, but I gotta imagine it's easier than flinging them into a pickup truck. This is all the available compost and that's where you drop off your leaves and stuff and then over here you can get wood chips. Where we're gonna be. And those look like older ones that have broken down a bit. Maybe I should get some of those too. And you see some logs, rock, everything. Yeah, yeah, yeah basically doing this one cubic yard at a time. That giant log in here. But other than that, the carload of limbs go in here. That's just one little white bucket. So I have, it barely filled that quarter. One more white, one more white, and then the big one. So I'm definitely gonna have to do a carload per and uh it's already after four already past the time that you're supposed to be back there i could try to schmooze them if somebody comes by but i don't necessarily know that there's anyone left on staff that i would know i used to work for parks and rec as a park ranger i'm at the organic recycling lot and i found figgy figueroa Big tree that dad abandoned because he never removed it from the pot and it died. Womp womp. Yeah, everything will settle once there's more dirt on top, once it gets rained on. But this is awesome. That's the next time it rains? No, we don't need to water it now. fool that cut down this tree and didn't I said the fool that cut down this tree and didn't save it thanks for watching be sure to subscribe and as always keep watching